The young woman accusing several San Diego State football players of rape has filed a lawsuit in San Diego court naming the players. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. One of the named players is Matt Ariza, the All-American punter for the Aztecs last year, drafted by the Buffalo Bills in the NFL. His attorney is about to join us in studio, but first, CBS 8's David Gopperson, who interviewed the young woman last month, has obtained a copy of the lawsuit. The civil case which we're filing is about my client about what happened to her. Attorney Dan Gillian said he filed the lawsuit Thursday afternoon on behalf of the now 18 year old woman who claims she was raped in October by several San Diego State football players. We're going to be uh, asking for compensation for what's going to be a lifelong um, lifelong suffering. The complaint names three San Diego State football players, as well as the LLC landlord that owns the house where the rape allegedly took place. One of the players, Matt Ariza, was drafted into the NFL. He's become known as the punt god playing for the Buffalo Bills. The other two defendants, current Aztecs player Xavier Leonard and former San Diego State player Nolan Paa Evalico. The young woman says she was age 17 and intoxicated when she was gang raped in a bedroom during an off campus party inside the house on Rockford Drive. She first spoke to me last month before the lawsuit had been filed. It's been since October. I've been waiting. I've been dealing with this and I'm most definitely ready to get justice for myself and to have them face consequences. The young woman is not identified and referred to as Jane Doe in the complaint because she is an alleged victim of sexual assault. Less than two weeks after the alleged rape, San Diego police detectives had the teenager make telephone calls to the football players and officers recorded the calls. So the phone calls started off, um, the approach is really nice, almost as if I couldn't remember what had happened that night. During one telephone call, one of the players, quote, confirmed having sex with Doe, even telling her she should get tested for STDs, according to the complaint. I would ask them things like, well, why would you do this? I was bleeding. Did you not see that I was bleeding? Why was my neck covered in bruises afterward? And at those moments, the guys would get pretty nervous and they would start drawing back a little bit from how much information they were giving me. Now, we're out here live in the college area in front of the house where that off-campus party took place last year. And we want to emphasize, no, nobody has been arrested. Nobody has been criminally charged. The evidence in this case is now before the San Diego County District Attorney's Office, and they will decide later on criminal charges. David Gofferson reporting for us. Thanks, David.